Spirit's presence as we gather together and worship His name. Lord God, we humbly come before you right now, Lord God, in your awesome majesty, Lord Father God, in who you are, Lord Father God, and we just thank you, Lord Father God, for being our God. Thank you for reigning supreme in our life. Thank you, Lord Father God, for being the author and finisher of our faith, Lord Father God, for, Lord God, working all things for those that love you together, Lord Father God, awesomely, Lord Father God. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God, as we see this each day, each new day, Lord Father God, we see your glory, Lord Father God, in our life. The fact that we have a breath to breathe, Lord Father God, to open our mouth and give you praise. We honor you and we bless you, Lord Father God. We bless your name for the opportunity, Lord God, to be in your presence this evening, Lord Father God. Many, Lord Father God, are searching, seeking, Lord Father God, for an answer, Lord God, for what to do in their life, Lord God, but by your grace and your mercy, not because of who we are, not because of what family we were born into, Lord God, but by your grace and your mercy, men who lie, I swear, and we know the truth, we have you, Lord Father God. So now, God, you say, I bless you. And that same grace and that same privilege that you want us to be here on tonight, our physical bodies be here today. We're asking for you, Lord God, to commune with our spirit on tonight, Lord God. If I continue to be last year and leave the same way that we came, Lord Father God, but we're asking you to let us get rid of all distraction, Lord Father God, anything that wants to deter us, Lord Father God, from pressing forward, Lord God, where we have to go, where we have to be. On tonight, Lord Father God, for you to speak to a more senior in every aspect of the service, Lord God. Your word, Lord God. The songs, Lord Father God. Through all, Lord God. Through it all, Lord God. Highly senior, we know Lord God, you are touching our lives, Lord God. Changing hearts, setting us on a path, making our crooked path straight, Lord Father God. For your glory, Lord Father God. Pass soundly, love you all this evening, Lord Father God. In Jesus' name, we pray.
reading is Matthew 5, verses 1. Matthew 5, verses 1 to 14. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them the Beatitudes. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of things against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you, you, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the lights of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled.
merci pour ton amour, merci pour ta bonté, merci pour ta fidélité. Nous sommes très reconnaissants envers toi ce soir pour tout bien faire envers nous. Et spécialement, Seigneur, pour tous ces jeunes qui réunissent, Seigneur, pendant le week-end, ça, pour rendre gloire, honneur, remerciement avec nous. Bon Dieu, à ce maintenant, nous prenons plaisir, Seigneur. Fais présence ou briller, Seigneur, nos visages, nos cœurs, dans l'esprit, afin que Dieu croie capable de réserver, Seigneur, non pour mon ça, mais pour gloire au nom même seul mérité. Lui vraiment agréable, Seigneur, lui vraiment béni, à soi, pour jeunes filles, jeunes garçons, ça, le Seigneur, qui a adoré, qui a bon gloire, Seigneur, honneur au même seul qui mérite. À soi, à mon d'autant prix, ou même qui c'est bon Dieu, qui remet mais tout petit, ou même qui c'est bon Dieu, qui prend plaisir, les petits, tout le Seigneur, pas adoré. N'a pas d'autant prix, Seigneur, recevoir, à soi, rempli au avec onction, rempli au Seigneur avec pouvoir, rempli au Seigneur avec autorité, parce que le monde ça l'a perdu, le monde ça Seigneur dépravé, il a besoin de jeunes filles, il a besoin de jeunes garçons, pour aller dans toute route, pour aller dans toute zone, pour aller Seigneur, pour nous parler, et pour prêcher l'évangile avec si là au monde qui a perdu, Seigneur, soyez. Nous demandons autant plus, Seigneur, que présence ou capable d'éliminer, que onction, Seigneur, capable de saisir, afin que Dieu travaille ça et commence ces jours Il n'est pas seulement fait pendant ce semaine ça, mais il est capable de rester dans le cœur, il est capable de rester dans la vie, il est capable de rester dans l'esprit. Et on va permettre, Seigneur, plus jeunes capables de réunir ensemble, plus jeunes capables de prendre décision, Seigneur, pour mettre les têtes ensemble, pour gagner, Seigneur, les jeunes chrétiens haïtiens. À travers nos jersey, à travers le monde, mon Dieu. Nous rendons autant pris, Seigneur. Je te grâce, nous regard favorable, Seigneur, sur chaque de nous, sous président, sous toute fédération, afin que oh Dieu travaille comme c'est aujourd'hui. Hein. Il est capable de quimber jusqu'à ce qu'on va retourner. Mon Dieu, à soi, nous rendons autant pris, Seigneur. Prends place dans le prédicateur. Prends place, Seigneur, nos dirigeants, cap les services. Prends place dans tout ça qui est pour faire à soi. Que grâce soit capable de manifester et que Satan le diable capable de manquer. Satan le diable capable de courir. Seigneur, parce que le pari place lui là, et n'a pas d'autant pour débarrasser les jeunes, le Seigneur, de tout problème, de toute tête chargée, parce que il y a place dans le pays ça pour yo, il y a place dans le pays ça pour yo, n'a pas d'autant pour Seigneur, si vous cherchez à soi, cherchez parmi vous même, Seigneur, pour capable de remplir, Seigneur, des fonctions, afin que, Seigneur, l'évangile soit capable d'aller au plus haut niveau, et que la gloire, Seigneur, soit capable de manifester, et que nous soit capable de lever, et que nous soit capable de bénir dès ce soir et jusqu'au grand jour de l'éternel. C'est ainsi nous t'en prions. Au nom de Jésus qui nous enseigne à prier, notre Père qui est aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain quotidien. Pardonne nos péchés comme aussi nous pardonnons à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Ne nous induis pas à la tentation, mais Seigneur, délivre-nous du mal. Car c'est à toi seul qu'appartiennent le règne, la puissance et la gloire au siècle des siècles. Amen. Seated for our welcoming, we're just going to sing one more song. You hold my world in your hands. Amen? Amen. Because we know our God is our keeper, our provider. It is him that we hunger and thirst for. So let's just worship in that song real quick before we're seated. And our welcoming with Brother Alex Alexander.
we've been in church this morning, since this morning, but I know that God is worthy of more, that we can give him more because we have a whole new week that's ahead of us tomorrow. So praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Wait, wait, wait. Ben machine ba koje ba nuwa. Can I point to you at machine ba papo? You guys don't see those scary drivers out there? You ever do one of those? What? No, seriously, right? What? And then you notice that not only did you not get into an accident, but you walked away free and clear, and that crazy person just somehow went the other way. So I'm going to ask you again, praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. All right, I'm, I'm still not feeling out. This is a youth revival. This is a federation, right? So I do have a loud voice, so maybe I'm being unfair by using this, this microphone. So.
Hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah, everybody. We want all you guys to stand up on your feet. And somebody say, yes, Lord. Come on. Say, yes, Lord. Come on. Somebody say it again. Say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's a simple song. It's called, yes, Lord. Very, very simple. Sing along with us. Help us out. Please. Amen.
everybody. How many of you guys are happy to be here on tonight? Amen, amen, amen. We are almost through. A little bit of patience. Um, first and foremost, um, we want to acknowledge um, all the churches that are here with us on tonight. Um, we have First Shiloh Baptist Church. If you guys can please stand as we acknowledge you. Come on, give them a hand clap. Amen, amen. And we have New Jerusalem Baptist Church. Amen. Haitian Philadelphia Baptist Church. Amen. We have a Bethel Baptist Church, the home church. Amen. Sanctification Assembly of God. Amen. And also Mount Olives Church of God. Amen. Amen. I didn't want to miss any church. So if there's any church, um, this is your time to shout out. If there's any church that I may miss, a yeah, good shepherd. Oh, good shepherd. Good shepherd. Any other churches? Salem SDA. Salem SDA. Amen. Amen. Hold up. Give me, oh, hold up. Give me one second. Over here, over here. We got somebody over here. Temple Unified Church. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the back? Maranatha SDA. SDA. Amen. Christ Church, amen. Christ Church. Amen, 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 amen. Um, if I miss you, I am so sorry. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, that is all the churches, right? Okay. Um, now is the time we are going to acknowledge um, the founding members of the Federation. Um, we have Brother Elie Jean Pierre. I don't know if he's here with us. I'm just going to name the list real quick. Brother Jean Claude. Um, we have Brother Voltel here and Pastor Kawa. Um, are any of these people here? No. Okay. They are? Yes. One is here. One is here. You can stand so we can acknowledge you. If you are here, please stand. Please stand. Please stand. Oh, Brother Voltel. Thank you. We have some of our past presidents um, Brother Jean Claude Christophe. Um, we have Pastor Ulrich and Brother Alex and Brother Clayberry. Any of those individuals that are here so we can acknowledge you? No. Give me a hand clap anyway for them. <laughs> um, our past vice presidents, Brother Steve um, Tadron, um, Brother Jude, and um, counselors. We have Pastor Angervi, we have Sister Barbara, um, Brother Wilnick, Pastor Jude, and Sister Betty Jean. I'm gonna just redo this real quick. Some secretaries, uh, we have Pastor Ricardo Bosi, and some treasurers, Sister Maurice, and Brother Jean Marie. So with anybody that is here, or anybody that I may have missed, you can stand so we can acknowledge you. Okay, amen, all right, that is it. Thank you guys, bless tonight. Right now, we'll have Brother Voltaire Pierre to pronounce, I mean, to announce the new Federation members. Amen. Yeah. Ça nous dit non, ni pour ça, ni ça le fait, ça la continue de faire. Succès sans succès, sont des faits qui viennent. Ça fait longtemps, la pénité. Et nous dit pour travailler pour gagner, ça m'a dit un peu de sacrifice. Et puis, quand le verset a fonctionné, jusqu'à présent, l'éternel, 
sur courir non et nous continuer à fonctionner. Moi j'ai un frère dans l'église moi, il dit faut retourner dans la fédération. Je me dit tout autant m'a poussé sous dehors. Tout autant pas pour rendre la ça m'a toujours là. Je sais pas dire comment il est. Je dis fédération des jeunes, il dit non, changer de nom, fédération des jeunes vieux. Je <rire> yes. dit trop vieux pour le président jeune. Eh bien, bon Dieu a un plan. Et nous connaissons, bon Dieu a toujours un plan. Et ça qui m'a dit surtout à nouveau comité quelqu'un. Dès le commencement, maintenant et dans le futur, pas de personne qui est indispensable dans le travail bon Dieu. Pendant que vous travaillez, on dit bonne opportunité, on dit bon Dieu merci. Pendant que vous voulez retirer le corps, il y a préparé même 50 ans de monde, sans connaissance, pour faire le travail là. Et ma petite bagaille, ça qui est dans des matins à l'église, moi je vais vous présenter le comité. Parce que tu as prêché, il dit c'est le président Clinton qui a prononcé ces paroles. Si pendant que vous marchez, ou en tortue, en l'air, en pied bois, vous devez camper pour garder vos questions. Comment toi tu en fais là Si on monde qui met Et dis de même. Si on a demandé de comment nous faire là, côté que nous y là, c'est pas bon Dieu qui te fait nos grâces. Si on base ça dans mon taille. Si on là, si on est choisi pour avoir travail pour lui, son privilège. C'est bon droit qu'on gagne. Travail pour mon Dieu, d'aller. Il y a un monde qui est mieux placé que nous. Il y a des gens qui ont pile de gré. Ils pas la place côté que nous y Et si vous avez une côté que nous y a accepté Jésus, vous n'avez pas rien. Descends l'orgueil. Descends le prestige. Humiliez-nous pour que vous Et bien, le moment arrivé côté que, ancien membre de la fédération, ancien grand monde, il y a toujours la côté jeune pour conseiller yo, parce que le travail là. Jeune, il y a manqué de connaissances. Grand monde, il y a manqué de force. Mais manque de connaissance avec force, mais ensemble, n'a pas de succès. Ça fait que nous sentons nous contents, que nous en joie. Et les gens qui se sont dit, moins dit, moi, ouais, pour nous, c'est ce qui est possible. Si nous avons un nouveau bête pour nous, gagner une pépinière, gagner une continuité et fédération à suivre. Que vous êtes capable de garder chaque jeune salle qui est prend détermination, qui est accepté le challenge. Nous ne connaissons pas aussi facile. Nous ne disons pas facile. Pour diriger, mais il est plus difficile pour diriger les gens dans l'église. Les gens qui ont de comprendre, les gens qui ont des paroles, les gens qui ont comprendre, qui lisent, qui comprennent, qui ont des recherches, ils sont plus difficiles que ça ne fait ça. Mais nous connaissons sur mon cœur des serviteurs, sur le livre de mes seigneurs, la prise sur dans la vie, là, mais nous avons droit de penser. C'est pour ça que la soirée nous a un privilège pour nous capables de présenter et nous apprendre à faire ça de tout cœur. Priez pour vous. Priez pour vous, priez encore et priez pour vous. Nous avons comme président de la fédération, Brother Samuel Tenor. Président élu, c'est Sister Karen Nazaire. Vice-président interne, ce Nevin Paul. Vice-président externe, Brother Ruben Désir. Secrétaire, Brother Moïse Paul. Trésorière, Sister Liliane Claude. Assistant trésorier, Godet Jean Bertin Louis. Délégué, Sister Emmanuela Antoine et Godet Fulcher Gentil. Conseiller spirituel, Pasteur David Marcel. 
que vous conseillez. Nous avons insisté Barbara Monduit. Bonne Alex Alexandre. Et Frère Voltaire Mounsaka Pali. C'est pour la première fois, depuis que la fédération a fonctionné, c'est en Haïti que nous avons des morts, jeunes, c'est comme ça que nous avons dirigé. Mais bon Dieu, nous avons des filles. Il y a une équipe de monde qui nous a dit. Si je m'appelle ça encore, papa ne peut pas avoir comme si je n'avais pas de mots. Mais que bravo est converti en prière, Amen. dans la dévotion, pour nous garder Seigneur, pour vous dire, par la sagesse, travaillez avec l'ancien, pour que vous puissiez prendre le succès. Mesdames et Messieurs, voici le comité. It is not easy. We knew it was not going to be easy. But we didn't know it was going to be that difficult. But we are willing. Every single one of us is committed just to take on this daunting task. Fair put it that way. And Bernard Voltaire, he said it perfectly well that we need prayer, 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 prayer. Please, please. We need your prayer, your assistance. Because we're going to get this job done no matter what. No matter how hard it is, we're going to get it done. We just ask you, please, embrace the vision. We want to create a platform where we can bring the young folks, our young Christians together, we can mingle in fellowship together. We can grow socially, culturally, and spiritually. Please help us. May God bless you all. Il y a des fois nous avons demandé quelques bagages et puis les nouvelles là, quand ils nous oublient. Pendant que nous sommes là, nous avons fait un peu de temps. Fais de nous-mêmes ça qui est oublié. 
parce que nous n'en mourons et rendons utile. De part de nous, nous ne pouvons pas faire rien. Nous faisons. Nous sommes capables de tomber dans la route. Mais sous qu'il y a des mains, il y a privé à destination. Seigneur, mais le comité a nommé. Qu'il y a des fois, Seigneur, il y a une volonté. Il y a un petit mumu. Il y a une discussion par parti, par mille. Et le travail a ralenti. Mais c'est un amant nous aider. Il y a un de discernement. Pour identifier le ce voie par eux à la ce voie par ennemi. Il y a une union entre eux. Faire qu'on puisse communiquer. Il y a un marché, mais dans l'année avec l'autre. Et toujours même qui guide là. J'ai encore été fait pour faire Israël. Pendant la nuit, on a une vidéo. Pendant le jour, on a une vidéo. Et dans chaque jour que je prends, pour qu'on puisse vous remercier, c'est que nous soyons que vous servez avec eux. Papa Amé, permettre la côté que vous dans l'église, dans l'école, vous êtes capable des exemples. Et à travers la vie, vous êtes capable de reconnaître ces disciples. En tant que leader, c'est un appel. Mettez mes mains sur vous. Mettez mes mains sur vous. Couvrez vous. Scellez vous. Armez vous. Quel que soit l'attaque qu'on fait, vous ne pouvez pas attaquer vous. Vous ne pouvez pas passer vous-même. Vous ne pouvez pas cacher dans vous. Vous ne pouvez pas prendre le succès dans tout ça qui est avant de Si vous avez jeune, vous n'avez pas. Comme vous êtes difficile pour diriger, mais si vous avez des mains sur vous. Si vous avez des si vous vivez dans la soumission, si vous va bénir, vous va garder. Il y a bien chez vous, mais c'est si vous êtes toujours là, ou pas en absent. Parce que quelqu'un de petit touillé, pour grâce ou pas capable de couvrir, vous n'avez pas de couvrir, et en lui, vous va vous gloire. C'est prier que nous demandons, au nom de Jésus petit tout, qui qui veut qui veut, ou c'est que des sept ans. Before the worship team comes back up so we can do offering and get to our word, I just wanted to thank the worship team that has been with us throughout the whole entire weekend. Amen. Uh, we have Brother, uh, Brother Urbans, who's our leader, who's um, been with us even from our past event, our welcome event. He is our head worship team leader for the Federation. Amen. Don't shake your head. You are. Today we inaugurate him today. Amen. And also, Give a hand clap for our band, who's also been with us throughout the whole weekend. We thank you guys very, very much. So please, worship team, come back up for our offering. Amen. Very simple. Just come, come let us adore. Come, come let us adore. Him. Him God be Worship in the door.
nous pas capable pas demander pour venir saluer l'Assemblée. Il faut que nous disions que le travail que nous avons fait là, c'est à partir de nous-mêmes qui fait le fait. C'est parce que Paul Nazaire. Merci à vous, Paul Nazaire. Le travail nous a dit que nous avons réuni le 17 novembre et que nous sommes dans le désespoir et euh, de l'avenir de la et bien, nous avons dit que le pasteur Kalonazé, c'était une force qui était aidée. Et à partir de là, il y a une force qui fait le travail ça continuer comme ça. Donc, on a demandé le pasteur Kalonazé. Ensuite, nous avons le pasteur André Ténor. On a demandé pour deux à venir devant. Le pasteur André Ténor aussi, c'est un autre monde qui fait le travail à avancer comme ça. On a demandé le pasteur André Ténor à avancer. Donc, il y a même, il va faire dans sa geste par il va saluer l'Assemblée et il va prier pour le message. Et je ne sais pas si c'est mon autre pasteur qui ne parle pas. Et mon saio, c'est mon autre de tout ça, c'est Josué, moi, avec les notés dans le travail de la fédération, ils ont réellement supporté la fédération et ils ont développé la fédération. Donc, il n'y a pas ce cadre de et c'est lui-même qui va saluer, il va saluer et il va saluer et ensuite il va prier et il va passer le prédicateur à la gloire de Dieu. Nous, il fait ça. Amen. Amen. Je suis content de nous assurer. Il y a un bel travail à faire. Et il y a une bagarre que je voulais que nous sommes un bel haïtien et que nous sommes un bel haïtien. Amen. Donc, pour le problème, il y a quelque chose à parler avec nous. Mais pour assurer, c'est ça seulement que je voulais dire. Fais mon travail. Parce que force la vie dans mon Dieu. Une fois que vous faites bon Dieu confiance, la marche avec nous et n'a pas du bon travail. Bon Dieu béni. Moi, je suis un privilège pour les jeunes à servir le Seigneur. Je pense que je ne peux plus plus passer à demander une décision. Dans le temps d'après, je dis si je ne suis pas dans le Seigneur, il est enfoui. Il est gaspillé. Je veux que nous avons chaque jeune réussi dans la vie et dans la vie. C'est par l'argent qu'on fait. C'est par connaissance avec les lecteurs qu'on fait. Et si seulement, nous avons des choses. Amen, amen. Nous, surtout nous, ici, nous avons nos choupeaux, nos apparences. Mais laissez regarder dans le cœur. Dans chaque jeune, nous avons un cœur qui soit pour les autres. Si c'est comme ça, on va dire qu'on va prendre soin. Qu'il va avoir un corps, qu'il va avoir un corps, qu'il va gagner, c'est pour compter sur moi. On va pouvoir prendre soin de ça. Nous, on va prendre soin de nous maintenant, mais il est limité. Mais dans mon Dieu, c'est l'infini, mon frère. Parce qu'on va penser, on va réaliser dans la vie l'impossible, parce qu'on ne va pas compter sur vous, pour compter sur moi. Je veux dire encore, je veux qu'il y ait chaque jeune qui, dans ce service citoyen, a besoin de bonnes de votre vie. Amen. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Dieu tout c'est un peu plus de monde. C'est un peu plus de sagesse. C'est un qui est tout puissant. Je suis plus haut dans mon théo. Touchez l'aile, c'est lui qui est capable de parler à ses Et il est capable de sortir de lui-même dans son humilité. Il est capable de présenter parole. Et chacun ici présent est capable de sortir édifié. Parce que c'est lui qui n'a pas parlé de lui-même, mais de présenter l'évangile. Que nous avons besoin et que chaque jeune ici présent a besoin. Béni soit à pour nous, faites capable de succès. Qu'il en soit ainsi. Amen. Amen. Right before we have our, uh, our brother Barney Manasseh come forward for our word, we're going to worship one more song. There
Come on, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 See, some of you may not have a reason to say hallelujah, right? Some of you may I have a reason to worship my God. And I think some of you here may know, right? Some of you may be going through the same thing. Some of you have gone through the same thing as me. But I have a reason to praise God. Amen? I mean, I, I drove over 250 miles here to be here with you guys today. And when I heard about what's happening this weekend, I said I definitely want to be part of it. Uh, I didn't know I was going to minister, but I'm happy that I'm here with you. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, seven days ago, I got to get set to Seven days ago, seven days ago, seven days ago my father was admitted into the hospital. We thought we lost him. And he, he had three strokes. And then he had a seizure this past Thursday. Right? So he's been in the hospital for seven days. And I thought it was over. I told God that I, when they called me, my mom was in the morning. My mom was in the morning. My mom was in the morning. She started, oh, you know that phone call? I'm going to fix up my junk in the morning. She started screaming over the phone and 250 miles away, 300 miles where I was in America, the day of the I felt so helpless. Are you here with me? I felt so helpless. And even when, if I was there, I probably would still feel helpless because there's not much that I would be able to do, but because I was so far away, I felt so helpless. But I remember there was someone, right? Amen? Are you here with me? <laughs> While I was in the house, my wife went to go drop the kids off to school. And I said, if I call my wife, what is she going to say to me? She, she'd probably start screaming too, right? But if I, if I call my friends, what would they say? They'd probably start like, oh my gosh, what? I can't believe this is happening to you. But I knew there was someone. Are you here with me? I knew there was someone. I knew. There was someone that if you go to him, he says, come to me, all those who are weary, and I will give you what? Rest. My heart was racing. My dad, my king, the guy that raised me, took care of us. The reason I'm here today, I got clothes on my back, aside from God, was my dad. And then he's in this condition. So I started praying. Are you here with me? Yeah. I started praying. I just put my, I don't know what I had on. You know those moments where you just, you got to go? I don't know if I had my pajamas. All I know when I got to the house, I realized I had the jeans, my jeans on and a t-shirt. But I started driving. I'm like, God, is this going to take? You know how when, when you're going through this, it seems like the time just, it's just so far. Right? Something that usually takes three hours. It felt like it was going to take me four hours to get there. Traffic. You got cops on the road. Everything is there. I just said, Jesus, just be with me. I closed my eyes. I was at St. Barnabas Hospital in two hours and 15 minutes. And then when I got there, I saw my dad. He got through the tough time and he was sleeping, but I knew God had his hand on him. Amen? Amen, amen. That's the reason why I told you guys that you know, if, if you don't have a reason, so I get this, you don't put I do it for you. I do it for you. Put on lock one. That's all I did one. Just worship God for somebody else that was going through something and God got them out. Are you there with me? Oh, that's all I did one. Don't stop thinking about yourself. Put on more creative power. Put on more lock one. Can pass it to you. Because I tell you, when I got to the hospital. Let me be alone. I'm going to say, Papa, I'm Simon, by the way, who said you, who, 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 so I can be around his restoration. When I got there, I, I saw Sid Ezia, I saw Gerline and, 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 and her brother going through something there. I saw like 10 other people in church going through something. I saw so many people, so many Haitians here. They have someone in the hospital. And then you got all the other families, the Americans, the Jews, and Folks that are in the hospital for a different reason or another, they're there. But you're here today. Are you here with me? You're here today. You are here today. See, on day two, the day of 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 the
what it does. He's starting to get his memory back and his thoughts back, his movement back. I said, Daddy, why don't you put your hands up to praise God? Yeah. I knew it was a stretch. We call this Sabbath Monday, Papa Pufea. It's possible that he couldn't do it because he lost his mobility. So he was trying to lift his arms up. You can tell, I said, Daddy, just say praise God that you, you're still alive. Right? Try to lift your arms up. So he's on the bed and he's trying to do this. He's trying to do this. He's trying, he keeps keep saying, the thing he keeps saying, like as he lifts lift his up, put it up there, buddy. Like in the sun is here, in the sun is here, in the sun is here. And he's saying this, right? So while I'm there, I'm like, when I come to church, why is it the worship team? You gotta keep pushing people to worship. Are you here with me? You don't realize there is going to be a time where you're going to want to worship, but your arms are going to say, I can't anymore. So why do you have the opportunity to worship? Let's go now. Father God, and it was agreeable to you. 
They're at a point right now, Lord Father God, where they want to receive from you tonight, Lord God, and take them through the rest of their week. You know the challenges that they're going through. You know what challenges that they're going to face tomorrow. You know what challenges that they're facing right now. You know what challenges they're going to face as they enter their cars. Oh, Father God, I'm asking, Lord God, make a deposit in our lives, Lord God, that will be a deposit for the rest of their life up until you come and get them, Lord Father God. Do this for us today. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 God is good. All and all the time. God is good. And all the time. Amen, amen. I, I thank God tonight. We did both mercy on God who committed the federation that allowed me to be here tonight. Ki functions privilege to call us where. You all, some of you remember me. My name is Brother Wani, and I, I, I grew up at Mount Olive Church of God. And about four years ago, Kaplan this time moved out of Mary Lund, and I attend Bridgeway Community Church. But we do have plans on coming back. Amen. We have plans of coming back, but I tell you, wherever you go, God is there. Amen? Amen. Right? And we, I'm so thankful that when I got to Maryland, God found a place for me where I could say it's home, right? And I, the Bridgeway Community Church has been amazing for me. And I tell people in Mount Olive Church of God and the folks that I see here, I always tell them that the four years, Catholic and Pastor in Maryland, it was like an extension of my seminary. Just being in a church with just a word, which is a good word and good people of God who love God. And just being there was just right for my family. And I thank God that he gave me an opportunity just to sit down. And I always ask God when I got married, Monday, bonjour, eight years ago, I said, God, I was so active in my Olive Church of God, you know, preaching and directing service and being part of the youth ministry, young adult ministry, that I never had an opportunity. My job gets shut up. God, I need my job gets shut up. My job gets shut up. My job gets shut it's rare that you get a chance to just sit as a, sit as a family just to worship together, right? So for four years, God gave us an opportunity at Bridgeway. I got a chance to sit down with my wife. We held hands. We praised God together. And it was an encouragement for me. And it reminded me how important family is. Are you here with me? Amen. So I'm going to encourage you guys. If you don't have yet, it's a lot of you that are young and you guys recently just got married. I'm going to encourage you that you, you invite God into your life. The worship life that you have here in church. I'm encouraging that it, it, it bring that worship into your marriage as well. Amen? Yeah. I'm going to encourage you to do that. So again, the theme for, uh, for, this, uh, for this weekend was Are You Hungry? And this past weekend, you guys have had an opportunity to hear some great sermons uh, straight from God through some of his instruments this weekend. And today I'm asking God that he summarizes everything for you this evening. So that you leave out of here with a, a good deposit that's going to allow you to go into the week. Craving for God. Are you here with me? I want you to crave for righteousness. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to speak about it. I want you to crave for it. Because in the world that we're living right now, everything that's around us is causing us to drift away from righteousness. I, when I grew up, we didn't have social media. And some of you, um, you're probably wondering what type of world you lived in wanting without social media. I didn't know anything about the internet until I got into college. My freshman year in college, and I'm not that old, guys. You don't have to look at me and think I'm, I am not that old. I just, I found out what the internet was when I was a freshman in college. And it's not until I got to my senior year that I began to understand what the internet was, the World Wide Web, that everybody sees everything, anything you put out there, right? That's when I began to realize what it was. See, the challenges that men faced back then were through magazines. See, the challenges you face today are on your cell phones. You have, easy, you have easy access to it, right? So I didn't have those challenges growing up, thank you, sister. I didn't have those challenges growing up, but you're facing that today. And it's so important for you. I always tell the young people that I speak to and the adults too, do you dig girl? I do too. I make sure you can buy with you. The real, real my point is so important that you crave righteousness in the day that we're living in today. And the reason why, because everywhere you look, there is something trying to pull you away from God. See, back then when I grew up, billboards were nothing but cigarettes on the billboards. State Farm Insurance. Nudity was something that was extremely bad. You, could, you wouldn't see it on TV. But today, it is something that sells. It's all over the place. You can't avoid it. It's there. 
So it's, there's a reason today that we're going to talk about it today, but there's a reason that I'm going to encourage you. You need to crave righteousness. All right. So the title of our sermon tonight, uh, TV Message Noir Square, is You Are What You Eat. Are you here with me? Yeah. You are what you eat. Won't you say that to the person next to you? You are what you eat. You are who you say so much. So much you ask me, man, will you? And some of you are probably wondering, like, Martin, where are you going with this? But you are what you eat. See, when I grew up, I, I didn't really know anything about marijuana, cannabis, sativa, or whatnot. But when I got to college, I began to see some of this stuff. And then there were names that were associated with people who smoked marijuana. They called them potheads. Are you here with me? You smoke marijuana, you're called a pothead. So you are what you put into your body. See, if you smoke cigarettes, they call you what? A smoker. Because you're putting this in your body, right? Because you're putting this on your body, we've tagged you with a name because it's what you're putting in is who you're going to be. See, if you like junk food, right? Um, if you like to eat a lot of candy, right? I don't know what the name that's associated with people who like junk food, but if you got a oh, sweet tooth, there you go. You got a sweet tooth. So there's a name associated with the kids and the grown-ups that love eating sweets. There's a name associated with it. And today, I want to say to you, literally speaking, when you put this food in your body, when you put these harmful things in your body, things that you love and you put in your, in your body, we say that you are what you eat. It's the same thing with your spiritual life. You are what you grab a hold of. So if you're clinging on to the Word of God, more than likely you're going to be a Christian. More than likely you're going to be a follower of Christ. If you're clinging on to everything that's against the Word of God, everything that opposes the Word of God, chances are you're selling. There's no in-between. I always tell people that there is no in-between. It's either you're on God's side or you're on the enemy's side. So if you're putting in th things that are from the Bible and from the Word inside of you, more than likely you're clinging on to God. But if you're not clinging on to that, more than likely you're clinging on to the enemy. So again, the theme for tonight is you are what you eat. So I, I went back and I, I wanted to take the definition of righteousness because the, 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 the uh, theme for this weekend is are you hungry? And it comes from Matthew 5 verses 6. So to the Matthew 6 verses 6. It says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness because they will be filled. So again, you are what you eat. So when Jesus said this, there's a reason why Jesus gave this to everyone as he got on top of the mountain. Yeah, I'll share with you the story behind why Jesus gave them the, the Beatitudes. But we're going to spend some time right now just speaking about right, righteousness. So what is righteousness, Brother Wani? You're asking me, Wani, what is righteousness? You've probably heard over the past two days. What is righteousness? Righteousness is defined as a condition, condition that's acceptable to God. Righteousness is walking upright to perform whatever is right. Righteousness is acting in accordance with the divine or moral law, free from guilt or sin. So that means that if, I, if I'm walking in accordance with the word of God and how God wants me to live, I'm walking in righteousness. I, I'm a Creole, if I say you did not you, right? As you speak, right? So it says I'm walking in righteousness. Righteousness starts in the heart and changes a person from the inside out. So there's always this saying that says, come as you are when you come to church, but don't remain as you are. Are you here with me? And you see this in Matthew 5, verse 20, where it says, For I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of God. So the righteousness starts inside your heart and needs to continue to grow. We say righteousness is a lifestyle that distinguishes us as true Christians and invites opposition from the world. In Matthew 5, verses 10, Jesus says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. Righteousness doesn't need to be seen by others. See, a lot of people, people want to say, you get to kind of show off your righteousness. Righteousness does not need to be seen by others, but only by God. So it doesn't have to be a show. We got it in Matthew 6, verse 1, where it, said, where it said, Jesus said, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of people, to be seen by them. Otherwise, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. We say righteousness makes us seek God's approval above everything else. 
chasing God before anything. We said that righteousness is chasing God before anything else. So before, you're, before you start chasing the degree in college, before you start chasing the job, before you start chasing the relationship, before you start chasing money, before you start chasing the relationship, before you ch start chasing the house, the cars, first and foremost, you need to chase God. And we find this in Matthew 6, verses 33. Most of us already know the fourth occurrence by heart. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided for you. So then we go into, so Wani, what does righteousness require? And now we go back to the passage here where it's in Matthew 5, verse 6, and the mantra says, it says, blessed are those who, will, who hunger and thirst for righteousness. So for me, for women, I want to go back to Kobwan Kisan Gunguye. And some of you know what hunger is. Who saw the IET and women uh, I, I, for the past 12 years? Uh, I spent some time in Haiti, and every year I made a commitment uh, about 12 years ago that I was going to spend two weeks in Haiti traveling from city to city. And it, it was like one of those reality shows uh, like the uh, you, you see on the Food Network, right, where they're going from diner to diner. I wanted to do the same thing, just so I could understand where my mother and my father are from. But I wanted to know it more, right, so I went from city to city. And there were certain cities that I got to where get 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 a view, get one thing on IT, get one way, get one cap, be a view, right? So one day, get one thing on the Bel Air, right? Bel Air on IT. Do you guys know what that is? You go put this on it. Get one thing on the Petro View. You go put this on it. Yeah. Get one thing on the Kesskov. Um, Thomas says zone side on IT. No passing the zone side. We're moving side. You can't get away. So they don't have a reason to come to the United States. If they come to the United States, it's like punishment. Leo Vinny sees that they will be the only year to avoid OEC. But these type of people, Leo Vinny sees you, Vinny sees just a shop. They come to the United States, they go to Miami, go shop, then they go back to their beautiful homes, their beautiful lifestyles in Haiti. So I had an opportunity to see that. They go just on privilege from God went to time. And then there were other parts of Haiti where people weren't as fortunate. Right? So I went in some parts of Haiti, but the passing of Wood Shilam, passing of Zontigua, Monte Miaguan, Monte Saint Michel, and begin running to the IT, like no different than the United States. If you kind of zoom in uh, a little more into Essex County, it's like going from Livingston and then you start going into some of the tougher parts of Newark. You see a difference, right? You see a transition. And I IT said, men back out of South Dino Zona where Zona BMV to one get V blood uh life out of me. And below the Lord Zona West Yo me Zena Zona. Let's go like that. So wherever there was misery, right? I, we decided to stop the car just to get to know the people, just play with the kids, right? But there was this one town that you only really came into Sotina Mashino, and Pan Soti it was like right outside of Miaguan, uh Lopase um those of you who are from Haiti, once you pass this area, you begin to see that there's a transition from commerce to poverty. So we got out of the car, they knew the machine, they knew the machine. As soon as we got out of the car, they knew we were we weren't from Haiti. I don't know, I don't know if it's my, the, 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 the uh, I sweat too much, because when I'm in Haiti, the guys sun they're great, you're about to sweat, right? Man, what man, they be, as soon as I get out of the car, once I start talking, I'm going to say I sweat, right? So you get the point that can come by me, child, like so then, so you get the point that can, ah, Mr. Sass said, and it could probably be my, the way I speak Creole, too. Say, put that side, let me even Haiti, you're too, you're the one, you're the one, you're they always tell me, money, don't say anything, be quiet, right? Yes. Because they will know where you're from. I always come, go to Haiti with people who are from Haiti so that I know where I'm going, I'm navigating. But they will always tell me, Wani, don't say anything. Mais qui est zone qui nous montre en Haïti? Les nous montre dans la zone ça, nous réaliser la situation pas bon. Nous, un moment à qui est petit, deux ou trois petits avec un sachet de tête. Nous sommes tout le monde qui a deux ou trois ans à la rue pour contre eux. Je today, if you're two or three years old, there's no way that you'll let your kids go to the supermarket on their own. Are you here with me? Mais en Haïti, à deux ou trois ans, où maman voit tout le monde dans le marché pour manger, pour aller chercher de l'eau. At two, three years old, you see these kids walking around with a bag of charcoal, barefooted. C'est l'un 
arrivé dans une salle, nous avons joué au football sans souiller. Et puis, ce n'est pas avec un bon football, il a joué, il a joué avec carton. Right? Et quand il a joué au football, il y a un pit de glace qui crase qui est à terre. Il y a un pit de bouteille qui crase qui est à terre. Si nous avons pris des machines, on était là, on gardait ça, on a fait la zone. Si nous avons vécu dans la zone, on a commencé à parler avec vous. Si nous avons commencé à comprendre que les autres, c'est une zone qui est en misère. Est-ce qu'on a avec vous? Et ça, on a vu que les autres, c'est une zone qui est en misère. Si nous avons commencé à parler avec vous dans la zone, on a commencé à dire que la situation n'est pas bonne du tout. Il n'y a pas de l'argent, il n'y a pas de travail. Il y a plus de moments qui sont dans la zone, qui ont plusieurs maris, plusieurs bons papas, et puis ils ont des bébés, ils ont des bébés, ils And because of the men come through the town and do their thing and they move on and leave them with all these kids. And we decided to want to know what they want to know what they want to know. We asked who we were today. And then we were done. We didn't ask who we were today. We passed because it was three days to eat. For you and I, we passed one day. I think some of you here, we are still here. 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 So some of you are already thinking about the food, but this young lady told me it's been three days. Ligue n'est pas un jour qui est pas mangé et si vous n'y ont pas mangé. Et puis moi je dis, so sauf de jeudi, right? So what was your day? What are you going to eat today? Où est si vous n'y ont pas mangé? Parce que si vous n'y arrivez dans une situation. Pour donner un tableau de football avec Timounio dans le terrain, on a joué avec eux, right? Nous avons un petit glace-là, on a joué avec eux. Nous t'aimons absolument. Pour donner un moment de caractère, il y a un petit bébé qui vient sous côté au garçon, qui est next to this young man that I was next to. Il t'aimons absolument. Le bébé a pris un chemise vestiaire qui est plein de souhaits. Il a commencé à sous ses souhaits. Are you here with me? Pour qu'on comprenne qui est grand coup, qui est dans la zone de ça. So the mama said, what we do for eating is a bag that is called Gato, Gato Labo. And for me, I understand that it's a Labo. When I'm talking about Gato Labo, I'm not going to ask a question, because there are many times when we're here, we're going to have a good bag with a good bag. We're going to have a good bag. Nous avons associé mon vélo avec mon bagage. So, moi, je lui ai demandé, vous savez, Ibi, vous avez dit mud cakes. Est-ce que c'est un spécial cake? Qui est-ce que ça, ça y est? Et puis, c'est le seul à dire, non, c'est la boue qui m'a parlé. Nous faisons la boue, puis nous faisons du gâteau pour qu'il y ait des petits mouillons. Et c'est là que j'ai commencé à comprendre ce que hunger est. Est-ce qu'on l'a avec moi? Il y a un hunger qui est là, que certains d'entre nous ici, nous ne savons pas. We don't understand what that hunger is, right? And that's why I get it for low even in IT. That's why when you get to Haiti, when you see them worshiping, you're like, "Dem be sharp, come and say shut their way." You come and say, "Cool, y'all have to do our show." Let's go live it. And then when you're here, the worship starts. Say, "Don't move, don't move." Say, "Don't move." Machine got more booster. Let's go live it. Let the machine move. It's like a battery that's dead. The battery move. You forget to boost your sulin. Et pour moi, je vais mettre le pétrole sur le gaz, 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 Something to eat. 
You're craving something to put in your body. See, I, 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 just like I said before, the, the, the theme of the, the sermon is you are what you eat. So I began to go back and I look at some people in the Bible and I said, you know, what does it mean to desire God? So I said, I'm going to get this, see, bon Dieu, no man. So I look at Psalm 42, verses 1 and 2, and I see that David wrote something here. We got in a song called David, and said, I did with David D. As a deer longs for streams of water, right? And who can show us that? Men, Jean, plant the jardin, but it's where you're going to say, I'm going to say, Swap! Right? As a deer uh, longs for streams of water, so I long for you, God. I thirst for God, the living God. When, I, when, when, can, when can I come and appear before God? And this is what David is saying. In Psalm 63, verses 1, David is saying, God, you are my God. I eagerly seek you. I thirst for you. My body thinks for you in a land that is dry, desolate, and without water. So I ask myself, what do we need to do just to make sure that we understand that there's a hunger that God wants us to have for righteousness, to do things according to his will. So it says that we need to do something. Don't sit around and just wait in. See, it's no different than some of us. Uh, by the way, I mean, a loss of appetite is a sign of illness. Every time they put food before you, you don't want to eat it. You can't eat it. That means you're what? You're sick. So that means if you don't have an appetite for righteousness, you are what? Oh my God. If you don't have an appetite for it, see, chaque fois péché a vu devant, et si le Seigneur me voulait faire, there's nothing that ever tells you, man, you need to live a righteous life. If, it, if nothing ever shows up that way, in your head, in your heart, you are what? Sick. There's a requirement here that the Bible that Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Yes, so if you're not thirsty for it, if you're not hungry for it, you are sick. Umana. The second one is, uh, the third one is keep returning for addition. It's so important that you who are here today, that in your hunger, in your thirst, that you, you don't remain satisfied with what you're getting. You should never be satisfied. I always tell people if you're getting too comfortable in church, there's a problem. Yes. You shouldn't get comfortable with Jesus. You shouldn't get too comfortable with God because he's an amazing God. Yeah. He's omniscient. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. Yeah. There's no way that God can satisfy everything, your every desire right now within this one minute. There's so much more to God that there's no way that you should get comfortable to God with God. So I, I turn my Bible, my, my two days before the Daniel chapter 6, let's turn our Bibles to Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6, verse 4. Daniel chapter 6, verse 4. And I'll, I'll speed up here so that you guys can get to it. Make your own kind of Bible like it. And Daniel may keep their pass outside of it, I swear. We all know the story about Daniel. Uh, you know, you all know the story about the three Hebrews. But we're going to spend some time with Daniel so that you can understand what righteousness is. And we see that by way of Daniel. So we're going to start off with Daniel chapter 6. And we're going to go to verse 8. Daniel chapter 6. And we'll do verse 8. We'll start with verse 8. Let me know if you got it. If you got it, say I got it. All right. Daniel chapter 6, verse 8. Now it says, Now your majesty issued the decree. So these are the satraps, right? These are these guys that... Uh, 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 Darius put over uh, uh, Babylon and they're so upset with Daniel they're so upset with the blessing that's on Daniel's life, they're not happy that Daniel's in a position that he's in they're not happy with the way God is blessing Daniel, so they they come up with this plan to get Daniel in trouble, right so here it is, it says that Daniel chapter 6 verse 3, it says now your majesty issued the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be altered in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. So King Darius put the decree in writing. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. 
Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying as God, asking God for help. Verses 12. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree. Did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any god or human being except to you, your majesty, would be thrown into the lion's den? The king answered, the decree stands in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, your majesty, or to the decree you put in right. Can I tell you something? Because you're serving God, people don't like you. Are you here with me? Let's go live with I want you to realize that parce que un pile de gens ne pas réaliser ça c'est les fin grand monde qui commence à réaliser raison pour ne pas dire par là avec vous c'est parce que vous servez bon Dieu c'est là avec vous so young people because you're serving God don't think everybody likes you are you here with me there are people planning all things behind your back yes there are people doing things behind your back and that's why you need to attach yourself to God because God yes. spiritualized God's eyes can see where your eyes can't. God is still watching. Are you here with me? God is still watching. So brothers and sisters, I just want to let you know that because you chose to serve God, people don't like you. People don't like People don't like what you're doing right here tonight. People don't like the fact that you're here. Why are you and not them? Not realizing it's available to them too. Let's keep on reading. Then they said to the king, Daniel was one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to your majesty or to your decree. You put in writing. He still prays three times a day. I don't know what commitment you made to God. But I'm going to ask you to keep your commitment to God. Are you here with me? Keep your commitment to God. Keep praying. Verse 14, when the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made effort and every effort until sundown to save him. So even the king, are you here with me? Even the king felt bad about what was going to happen to that day. Then the men went as a group to King Darius and said to him, remember your majesty that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. So the king gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him into what? The lion's den. See, I don't know about you. I'm not going to pull men, man. I'm being on the men last. You don't think you're in persecution, sir? But I get the like, yeah. We probably give it up, right? Oh, king, I'll, I'll worship you, king. No, 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 no. I am not going to the lion's den. But Daniel held true to God. He held true to God. Daniel says, let's keep on going here. Remember, your majesty, uh, that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree, uh, blah, blah, blah. So the king gave the order, and, the, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve, continually rescue you. And then in verse 17, it says, A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the dead. So they really didn't want Daniel. There was no way for Daniel to get out. See, some of you here, get up in the room, I swear, you're going through something tonight, and there is no, you feel like there's no way out. Let's keep on reading. And the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the rings of his nobles so that Daniel's situation may not be changed. See, that's why I love my God because when man says it's over, God says it's not over yet. Are you here with me? Remember that long DK, everything is done. God has the ability to reverse everything that man has put into place. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him. He could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, in the morning, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve, continued, been able to rescue you from the lion's den? Daniel answered, may the king live forever. My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent. Listen to that. They have not hurt me because I was found what? Innocent. And when you go back to the word righteousness, and you go back to the Greek root word, you get the word innocent. Innocent from it. It says, they have not hurt me 
because I was found innocent in his sight, nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den, and when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in God. See, what I want to tell you tonight, right, and we're going to close here, there's a righteousness that God is looking for. It comes from the innocence. The innocence within us. See, I, as I, as I, every time I read this passage and I, I think about my, 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 my carnal eyes, my, my eyes, when I think about a man being placed in a, a lion's den, my kids would take me to the zoo all the time, toujours dans le zoo avec Timonio, et chaque fois que tu es ici, bye bye, lion, you'll manger, parce que sous bye, lion, you'll manger, what could they do to you? Tear you up apart, right? You hear on the news all the time, when cop, cop, joue avec lion, and lion just goes wild, and what happens? Wow, right? The, the lion just breaks them apart, destroys them, the claws destroy them. I begin to realize, I begin to realize that at one point before sin into this world, are you here with me? At one point when Adam was in the Garden of Eden before sin entered, we had the ability, when the lion began to roar, we had the ability to say, be quiet. Yes. Are you here with me? Did you want to avant de pécher, de rentrer par moi et d'Adam, pendant Adam était dans le jardin avec tous les animaux, t'es qu'il y a un lait, les lions t'es gondé, Adam t'es qu'à dire, be quiet. And that's when I realized that Daniel found favor in God because of his innocence. And while he was in the lion's den, God gave him what he gave Adam. Are you here with me? So that means for me, let's go live with him. Ça a été pour moi-même. Dans la situation qui m'a passé, si mes chantiers me font mal, if I have situations going on at work, at home, that means that if I tie myself to my innocence, right, I do what God asked me to do, I have that same ability to put my hands up over my situation, just be quiet. But it takes you understanding that you have the ability to do that. God has given you bon Dieu, bon capability, uh, the ability to do that. But it's up to you to be wanting to connect with God so that this thing happens for you. So tonight, I just want to open it up for you all. And again, I had planned on going a different route with the sermon, but tonight, I just wanted to encourage some of you here. God is looking for righteousness. Bon Dieu, I'm saying you're innocent in the middle of it's in, it's in the innocence that God begins to show up in your life. See, some of you are trying so hard. You're doing all these things. On a on a wedding, we on a service de prière, on a jeûne, on a on a tout bagarre et puis la vie a pas jamais changé. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Some of you, you need to give up, homie. You need to give up the girlfriend. Some of you need to make a decision that, guess what, my radio station and my car is going to remain on 95. You need to make a decision. you got to make a commitment. You cannot keep living one foot there, one foot here. And then whenever the problems come, you're trying to put your hands up. Oh, lions, be quiet. What do you expect to happen if you were never connected to the source? What do you think is going to happen? Even when the source wants to show up, this hand is still connected to something else. Yeah. You gotta make a decision. He has so much plan for you. Those of you who haven't been who are married yet, he has a husband plan for you. Those of you who want a house, a car, a beautiful house, he has all that plan for you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. To you, given unto you. Once you begin to seek God, you begin to realize at home, problem que tu avec maman et papa, situation ça commence à régler. Problem que tu as à l'école, on pas capable passer classe, on commence à voir passer classe, and you're asking yourself, all these classes I used to take, I couldn't pass. How all of a sudden am I able to pass it? It's because you're seeking first. You're seeking first. It's not easy. Bab do it fast. Parce que même gens qui sont bons, mettez toutes les belles bagailles devant nous, 
Let me make it too bad by the devil. The enemy puts me, if God puts something nice out there, the enemy puts something even she tries to distract you with something nicer. But you need to know that you're serving a living God. Are you here with me? You need to know that you're serving a God that doesn't sleep. You need to know that you're serving a God that has the ability to give you the power. When, the, when that lion begins to roar in your life, you have the ability through your innocence to quiet that lion. Yes. So tonight, I'm going to ask any of you tonight, my Monday, I swear, is there anybody here tonight that's going through something that is so overwhelming in your life? And I know all of you are going through something. Some of you are dealing with situations at home with your spouse. Some of you are dealing with situations with your mother, your father. Some of you are dealing with situations at work, at school. See, you can't go at it by yourself. It's time that you begin to hand it over to God and say, God, you know something? I'm going to connect to you. It's time that you begin to put things in you that's going to help you put your hand out and say, problem, be quiet. It's time for you to put your hand out and go in there. Because I'm going to get a big job, get a big job, get a big job, get a big job, get a big job. And I'm going to say, I'm going to get a big job. They have this floor that's called sleep out there. Les mouis vont voir, ils vont appeler les haïtiens, ils vont appeler les autres mouns, ils ne vont pas avec eux, ils vont chaque matin, ils vont se dire, ils vont se lever. Et quand tu te réveilles à 3 heures du matin, ça veut dire que si tu vas travailler à 7 ou 8 heures, tu vas être tiré pendant la journée. Et quand tu ne vas pas à la maison, ton corps ne se rejouvenait pas, tu commences à regarder old, tu commences à prendre toutes ces choses. Donc je sais qu'il y a beaucoup de vous, à cause de vos problèmes, à cause de vos billes, à cause de ce qui se passe dans Haïti, à cause de ce qui se passe dans ta famille, à cause de ce qui se passe dans ta famille. It's causing you not to worship. It's causing you not to sleep. It's beginning to overwhelm you. I'd like to tell you tonight that there's somebody that's saying that, just bring it to me. Are you here with me? Kill moon kaki, I swear, men in bum way. Men in two problem, your bum way. I will take care of it, and I will take care of you as well. So tonight, if you are someone tonight, you don't have to come forward, I just want you just to raise your head. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Ou bien faire les yeux. Si vous sentez qu'on a soif, vous sentez qu'il y a un grand problème. You have something that's going on in your life, and yes, I've been holding on to too many things, trying to do it on my own. And tonight, I, I think it's time for me to let God take care of it. It's time for me not to think I'm going into this lion's den alone. It's time for me to go into this lion's den with God. So if you're here tonight, if you have a friend, if you have a brother or sister that should be here tonight. If there's a family member that you've been wanting to come to church for a long time, you've tried everything. You've tricked them into coming to church. I'm going to somewhere to a concert and you brought them to church. You've done everything that you could. And tonight you're like, God, I'm going to put my brother and sister. I'm going to put them in your hands. 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 I'm going to put them if you have somebody, if you're in that situation, I just want you just to raise your hand. I'm raising my hand because I got so many cousins. Just raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. If you have a brother or sister, so what passe on city as you go to your petit qui dehors, qui parle, et vous faites tout ça pour qu'à part. Pour bon Dieu, qu'à faire un bagage pour petit ça. Ou même fait, ou même essayer, you need to try your own way. A way to buy you see. I want you just to raise your let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Let me know, let me know. And I just want the worship team where they are right, right now just to say my way new on some more. My way new on some more. If they have their if they have their microphones, I just want them to say, but raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. God is so quick to help you. He is so quick to help you. Look at Daniel. Throw in the lion's den. It would be nothing. Just to let him die, but God wanted his glory. He wanted his glory. Centuries and centuries have passed, and we're still talking about the greatness of God. Think about what he can do in your life. Think about what he can do in your life. Come on, let's stand up. Come on, let's stand up. Now I want you to hold hands all over the church. All over the church. I want you to hold hands. Hold hands, hold hands, hold hands. Hold hands, hold hands, hold hands. I want you to hold hands. And I want you to squeeze the hands of the person that you. Pass it on. Squeeze, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Just squeeze the hand. See, you can't do this by yourself. While praying for too long, it's going to happen. You're praying by yourself too long. Hold your hands, hold your hands. 
hands, hold the 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 hands. And just for a moment, just think about what it is that you want God for you to do tonight. Some of you are in the lion's den right now. You haven't shared with anybody here. The doctor already diagnosed you with whatever. You don't want to tell anybody because you're waiting for God so that you can come give your testimony.
up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Oh, Heavenly Father, I bless your name tonight. Hold the hand, hold the hand, hold the hand. Squeeze it. Oh, Lord God, I thank you tonight. Do me I say, I swear, I say it. I swear. Nous merci Seigneur, Jesus. 
Ali, 